the Marcella Shale provides about a quarter of the natural gas for the United States right now, and that role will almost double between now and 2045. When I think about the Marcella Shale development and its contribution to society, I think about how important the role of natural gas plays in being a transitional energy, moving away from coals and uh, into more sustainable forms of energy. Fracking has become a really important technology to unlock the reserves and unlock the natural gas resource that exists in the Marcellus. We're constantly challenging ourselves. We're constantly looking for new and better ways to do uh, the things that we do. The Marcellus is one of the three largest plays that is happening in the world right now. It's very exciting to be able to work in a, in a play, a world-class play like this. Energy. The Marcellus Formation, located in the northeastern United States, is one of the most relevant assets in Repsol's portfolio. Completion operation in the Marcellus Shale is a new technology that was introduced um, in the last 15 years, where we drill the vertical section and then we go horizontal into the formation. And then we use pressure basically by pumping the water at high pressures to crack the shale rock, allowing the gas to flow through, and then that sand is forced into the fractures that allows the gas to flow to surface. The entire Marcellus Shale region produces an average of 24 billion cubic feet per day, almost 30% of the natural gas used daily in the United States, which would be equivalent to supplying clean energy to more than 3,200,000 families for two and a half years. Repsol's Marcellus business unit spans more than 180,000 acres of the formation, and it's one of the most successful operations in the area. The improvements over year over year have been exceptional. Uh, the team itself has used a lot of different innovative technology to get us there. We always welcome uh, different experience and different knowledge that uh, allows our area to grow and become uh, the great business that it is in this area. In the course of the last year, we've taken a look at growing our business to three quarters of a BCF a day. Uh, we've been able to actually triple the amount of uh, production that we can put through one production train. Our own natural gas that we developed is able to fuel the drill rigs along with diesel, so lower cost and emissions. The team of this business unit works with more than 6,000 leased landowners, including many farmers, as well as regulators, local leaders, and other members of the community. There was a time when it was probably 750 to 1,000 farms in Bradford County, and so many farmers would have to sell their real estate in order to retire. But with the gas industry being here, they did not have to do that, and we've been blessed to have Repsol. Repsol helps the community understand our work. When we're going into a new area, we'll set up a, uh, an open house, we call it, or an information session. If they have questions, if they have concerns, if they really don't know what this all means, we're there to tell them. There's another critical aspect of social investment, and that is making sure that we understand the community's values and priorities. Uh, I got the kids right up to the uh, headquarters up in Horseheads and we visited and uh, wanted to show them everything about the organization so they could understand what it is that is potentially their jobs for the future that are in this area. This asset managed more than 330 miles of production pipelines, a length equivalent to 106,000 cars lined up, nine independent compression facilities and hundreds of wells. The safety and maintenance of these facilities are one of the major daily challenges for asset professionals. Regulators in this area have recognized our safety and environment practices as top tier, and they're actually pushing other operators to adopt our practices. I see that as a big win. 
from an engineering perspective, we're looking at risk mitigation, ensuring it'll last the longevity of the play. We want to ensure that we can sustain the equipment, that it continuously operates, and we, that we can operate at full capacity of the design of our stations. The incorporation of new digital operation control systems is one of the key factors that the company has implemented to optimize its performance and development. We've actually been able to digitalize uh, our connections so that we can actually see exactly what our operating parameters are remotely. Water is key to an asset such as the Marcellus, and Repsol guarantees at all times that this resource is efficiently, respectfully, and sustainably used. The water use in this area is very highly regulated, so we ensure that we're only withdrawing the appropriate amounts of water to make sure that there's no negative impact to the environment. Collaborate with other operators in the area, uh, having water sharing agreements, having good relations based on trust with the regulators and also with local population. This is key to ensure that we have a license to operate and we make our activity sustainable and safe. The Marcellus Business Unit is facing a promising future and great challenges that will be tackled with maximum efficiency. We want safe operations. We want a clean environment. We want clean air and clean water. We live here. We're changing to a more uh, digitalized company and it's exciting and, and there's uh, a lot of opportunity. We are looking to grow our business with an open mind into the future, giving us the opportunity to continuously improve as we have year over year and don't let anything be boundaries.